Hi, my name's Rachel Long. I'm the accounts, group accounts payable manager for Breeding Group. Okay, I understand you won an award just now. Yes, the leadership awards. I'm really pleased about that. It's, um, it's great to be recognised for what we do. Um, it's, it's very different working with a big team. So um, it's great to be recognised for leading that team, but also um, within the breed, breeding group, um, putting in a mentoring scheme. So that helps the leadership for the whole group as well. Fantastic. I know your team has been pretty successful today. There's been another couple of awards or recognitions? Yes, yeah, so the team got runner-up in the um, AP Team Award. A bit disappointed they didn't win it because they deserved to win it, but um, that's me being biased. Um, but yeah, also one of my team also won the Brad 10 out of 10 um, award for the most noise as he came on, sta off, on stage, I think. To be fair, Brad was absolutely fantastic. It's so motivational. And my boss has actually just said to me, we need to get him into, the, into our business. Um, but also Karen was brilliant as well. The facts, the figures, I love all the stats and things like that. But Brad was just out of this world and he was fantastic. So yeah, definitely Brad. Be yourself, be authentic. And I think there's a lot of leaders and managers that I've worked with that, that are just here to play the game and the politics. But I think if you're going to be successful in a career in leadership, you've got to be yourself. That's a difficult question, really. I've got a few people in my career that have been excellent leaders. Um, a gentleman called Steve Farmer, who I work for at Balfour Beatty, um, he was a fantastic leader. Um, but also a guy called John Sunderland Wright, who's also a resilience trainer as well. He's a fantastic leader. He, he just motivates everybody, leads everybody, leads by example. So it, it, in my career, yes. Um, out of my career, it's one I'd probably have to think about. Uh, somebody, I don't know, Richard Branson is always a, a good one because um, he, again, he, I've seen him on flights where he's serving people on the plane and things like that. I think it's just being real, being authentic and, and just being yourself.